Hey Taurus, thanks for checking out your weekly forecast for March 6th through the 12th. We do have a full moon on March 7th. We're going to see how that energy might be affecting the Taurus Collective. This is going to be a message for Taurus Sun, Moon, and Rising. Uh, it is a general message for the Collective. Therefore, not every single message is going to resonate. Take what does, leave what doesn't. And you might need a private reading. So without further ado, my dears and my darlings, we're going to connect here and see what's coming up for the Taurus Collective. The first card that's coming up here for you all is the Six of Wands. This is victory. This is overcoming challenges, obstacles. Um, now, the sunflowers in this card are really jumping out at me. And so is the heart. And sunflowers I associate with Archangel Uriel. So I feel like a lot of you are going to feel Uriel around you at this time. Uriel helps us to overcome challenges and obstacles, helps lead us to, to victory in difficult situations. Um, so I feel like for a lot of you, there's going to be something that has been heavy on your heart. Either it is something that might be like uh, like like an emotional healing situation that's been difficult to get over. Or it's just been a situation that's been weighing heavy on your heart. And so I feel that there's a release from this. There's a sense of solution. There's a sense of overcoming it. Um, I also feel like you're coming into a time of very inspired energy. Like just very passionate about inspiration or ideas that you're seeing as solutions to this situation. And you're you're going with it. You're going with it full speed. Uh, this could also be a truth being revealed for some of you. I've said this in the past about the Six of Wands. I do sometimes see this card come up when somebody's been going around lying about you, like trying to turn people against you. And then all of a sudden it becomes very clear that this person has been accusing you of the things that they've been doing. And so people are going to start saying, wait, wait a minute now. This doesn't make sense. You know, this whole time you're going around saying Taurus did this and Taurus did that. And it looks like you're the one who was doing that stuff. So for some of you, there could be a vindication or a validation here where you're dealing with people who are just flat or a person who's just flat out going around saying very negative things about you. And the truth may be coming out that they've been lying They've been lying and they've been accusing you of, of the things they're doing. Uh, Six of Wands could also be beating out the competition. So some of you could receive some good news that you've been chosen or you've been picked for something uh, that might have been rather competitive, whether it's a job you've applied for, a program you've applied for, a housing situation you've applied for. You may be receiving word that you have been chosen. The next card that's coming up here for you all is the Three of Wands. This is also a card that came up for, um, I want to say Pisces. So some of you could be working with a Pisces or collaborating with a Pisces because this card came up for them. Uh, if you have Pisces placements, you might want to check out that reading for this week. But in general, again, lots of orange, lots of yellow. Uriel is definitely around the Taurus Collective in this week ahead. Three of Wands is expansion, like going the next level. We've come too far to give up now. And so with that Uriel energy, <laughs> um, I feel like, and this is just coming in intuitively, this full moon in Virgo on March 7th is going to get us very clear about what we want. It's um, and That part's not intuitive. That's just what it is. It's going to get us very clear about what's working for us, what isn't working for us, what we want, and being practical about going for it. The intuitive part that's coming up for me, because of this Uriel energy and because of the way this full moon is coming in, I feel like the Taurus Collective is going to have a, a reminder. <laughs> like they're going to remember who they are. They're going to like, like, and I don't mean it in the sense of like in, 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 in a cosmic way, but more so like things may have happened that have shaked you, that have shaken your confidence. Things may have happened that brought you down or discouraged you or kind of knocked the fire out of you or put the fire out. I feel like you're getting your fire back. Like you're remembering this is who I am. You know, I've been through worse than this. I'm tougher than this. Uh, I deserve this. I, I I'm headed in this direction. Like, I feel like you're getting back on course. Something happened that shook you a bit, 
knocked you off course and now you're getting back on course that's what i'm feeling here with this three of wands and you're realizing you know what i've come way too far to give up now yes i got tired for a little bit yes i got discouraged for a little bit but i am way too far on my journey and i have made way too much progress to uh back down or to give up um I do feel for some of you, there may have been a temptation to go back to an old situation and you're going to find out it's not available anymore. Like, like it's like that door has closed. But when that happens, I don't think you're going to panic. I think you're going to laugh like, okay, there's confirmation. I meant to move forward. Next card coming up here for the Taurus Collective is the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is a card that can come up when we're seeking fulfillment or meaning. Um, so we may be in this energy of like looking for a career change or wanting to do something more meaningful or purposeful or connecting with our purpose because we feel something is missing. And so Eight of Cups is saying that it's going to be time to make time for our spiritual connection because that's going to lead us, guide us, direct us. And we're not going to feel something is missing because we have the spiritual connection. What may be missing is the spiritual connection. Um, and that's a card that also comes up for me a lot of the times in readings to say, you're going to accomplish everything you're trying to get, but your joy for it is going to be very short lived if you don't have a strong spiritual connection in place, because otherwise you're going to say, oh, you know, I'm proud of myself that I did all this, but it didn't make me feel the way I thought it was going to make me feel. So something is still missing. Maybe I focused on the wrong situation. Maybe I'm going to be happier when I accomplish this goal instead. And then we fall into this vicious cycle. Like happiness and fulfillment is always contingent on the next goal, the next accomplishment. And your angels and guides are like, look, Taurus, you are waking, you are working way too hard not to enjoy the fruits of your labor. So make time for your spiritual connection. Carve out time for a spiritual routine. And if you already have a spiritual routine, this is time to shake it up. This is time to add something new to it to keep it fresh uh, because that spiritual connection is going to help you to feel secure in your accomplishments and to really take time to play and enjoy what you've accomplished with all your hard work. The next card that's coming up here for the Taurus Collective is the King of Cups. And so this could be water sign energy, Scorpio, Cancerian, uh or uh pisces if you have water sign placements you may be focusing on those um houses or areas of your life king of cups because a lot of people are used to watching tarot for love and romance king of cups can be seen as like a husband energy father energy and some of you may be manifesting a husband or father some of you may be stepping into energy of husband or father but the king of cups is just a very abundant energy very successful energy, very generous energy, but also very like having a backbone. So some of you may be balancing generosity with boundaries. I do see that sometimes with the King of Cups. I do feel though a lot of you are going to be working with a water sign person. Uh, there could be a water sign person or someone's water sign placement, sun, moon, or rising um, that is going to be uh, helping you uh, with your ideas, with the things you're trying to do. They may be giving you um, advice or emotional support. I do feel this may be somebody like older than you that does kind of have like a father figure vibe to them. So there could just be somebody coming in and like giving you encouragement, giving you advice, giving you wisdom here uh, as you're taking these steps towards uh, these goals, which you will accomplish. We know this, but be in your spiritual connection so you can enjoy it. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope this reading was helpful. Um, check out your other placements. Sometimes your other placements resonate more than your sun sign. I will have a playlist so it'll be easier to find those. And there's also a link in the description that will take you to my scheduling page if you would like to schedule a private reading with me. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Have a wonderful week ahead, my dears. Take care.